Ooh, a lion. Holy balls! Yeah, baby! This is why this is one of my top two rooms of resort. GPUs, baby. Welcome in, everybody. Today, we are talking about the last great bastion of loot in Tarkov, the resort. And if you're willing to brave the dangers in here, there is millions of ruples of loot to be made in high-tier items. After this video, you will know where to find these items, what route to run, as well as a tiered key list to know which keys to prioritize. So, let's make it happen. Because resort is so highly contested, the spawn matters a great deal. And on East Wing, there are two S-tier elite spawns. The first is right to the east near the house on the hill. Uh, the other one is to the north of the resort. Both of them are going to get you to East Wing right around the same time. So be aware of it being contested there. Now, West Wing doesn't have the same like elite tier spawns. So it's tougher to really know that you're the first one there. But if you get, you know, some of the swamp spawns, uh, some of the better cottage spawns, and you run right there, you know, you're gonna definitely make a bid for being the first one there. Additionally, kind of a, a secret one, is if you get Rock Bridge, that's actually a really good West Wing spawn. Because of those elite spawns at East, you're probably not gonna get there first, but you actually can make it to West Wing first. But knowing your spawns and knowing the level of competition you're gonna see based on that spawn, is key to being successful here. All right, here we are at the most common entrance to the East Wing. You know, if you get one of the two best spawns that you're just gonna run straight here, this is where we're gonna enter. Now, how I start my route is by going immediately to the second floor. That's right, skipping Sanitar's room, as it is incredibly dangerous down there early in the raid, whether it's meeting people before getting there or getting trapped in afterwards. So let's go to the real best room here. Here it is, 226, connects to 222. Like 301 West, this is one of the best rooms in all of Tarkov right now with a ton of great loot. Of course, check the shelves. All of our old school resort runners know that. What is new, though, is they have added several high-tier loot spawns right around the mouth of this box onto the carpet. You know, GPUs, LEDX, O-Scope, you name it, you can find it here. Um an O scope for good measure. Again, if you need one found in raid, this is one of the top two rooms to get one. Other thing to note is right here, there is a Bitcoin, Veritas, guitar pick, skull ring um, that can glitch into the floor. Always make sure to get real close to it. Additionally, they added several high tier loot spawns on the bed, on the night table, next to the bed. Again, O scopes, LEDX, uh, the like. So look there. Coming around to the other side, on the table here, we have several nice tech spawns. Uh, some on G-Phone, Tetrises, GPUs, you name it. And finally, of course, the box. Gold tier loot spawn in here. But this is uh, absolutely one of the best rooms. And one thing to note is when you're outside, you can hear other people running up. Uh, you could be a Chad and jump off the balcony. Or, of course, they have to show themselves uncover when they go to the door there. Easy spot to shoot some PMCs. But from here, uh, we are going up to the third floor. Again, trying to distance ourselves a bit from other PMCs. Here we are, 328, and the utility key. Very nice key. And in here, again, uh, it's going to be that high medium loot. Uh, three gold tier spawns uh, on this table here. Coming around here, several tech spawns on the table, Tetrises uh, and the like. I don't know that I've ever seen a GPU there, but... Uh, and over here, some really nice uh, weapon parts, uh, really great backpack stuffers. And that's what this room is. It's that medium tier loot to stuff your backpack with you feel good about. One thing to note is if you are being pushed by PMCs at this point, which is very possible, you can always take these stairs up to the roof, a nice place to uh, kind of retreat to. Uh, gather yourself and potentially increase your survival rate. If you don't want to do that, let's keep running down. Here we are at 314. Now, I'll come here if I haven't been getting good loot so far in my rooms, um, as this is, a, you know, an average room. Some nice weapon parts on the table here that are worth picking up. On the uh, closet here, some ratchets, uh, PGWs, uh, the sewing kits for the nice trades. Uh, definitely look at those there. And of course, in here, LEDX spawn. If 
Been a while since I've seen one there, but we have gotten them, so worth checking out. And here we continue on, on third story. East 310, a room that was you used to be S tier, excuse me. Now it is, honestly, I still think it's good. It's letting me down now, but uh, three gold tier loot spawns on the table aren't spawning as frequently, but they're still there. As well as three on this table as well. I walked in here the other day, two lions. This room is still worth checking out. It's hit or miss, but when it hits, it hits nicely. Now, from here, I do not go to 306, 308. Feel free to tell me in the comments below why I'm wrong to skip those rooms or to skip any of the other rooms or loot areas that I have. Now, from here, uh, we're going to continue our circle because uh, there are some rooms. 213 is a nice room to hit with uh, some nice boxes in it. Don't need a key for it. It is free. The other two rooms we want to hit, 218, of course, the red key card room, swing around, boom. And it just helps us to complete our circle here. The other nice room to hit right across the hole, 219. Beautiful. Uh, gold loot spawn here. Nice lion. Always check this. It really has been very nice to hit. And the reason we end our circle here is so that we can just drop down the hole and hit the sanitar room we skipped before. Um, assuming people haven't hit it. Go in here. Otherwise, a nice indicator if there are other people around. In here, several, several Ladak spawns. Right here, along the shower, to the left and the right of the toilet. Um, on the tray there, on the ground, and on the table. And finally, we've seen Bitcoins and Pro Kills uh, right here, as well as a Gold Tier Loot Spawn over here. Now, from here, we have a decision to make. Again, we can go follow us straight, and we can go to admin. Or we can go above us to where the sky bridge is and move over to West Wing. If we are deciding to go to West Wing, then uh, you can hit 205. Hasn't been my favorite room so far this wipe, but still potentially worth a look. You know, in here... Food spawns. Gold tier loot spawn hasn't been spawning as frequently. And of course, we wrap around here. That medium kind of medical loot here where you can get stims and CMS. And of course, uh, our three boxes. So a decent room. One to hit if your backpack is, uh, you know, still has some spots missing. But from here, we can go over to West Wing or, of course, over to Admin. Okay, here we are entering West Wing, and 99% of the times, this is the entrance I take into here. Come in here, always check right there, some really nice spawns. But we are running right for the third floor, as the best loot is up there. So let's go. All right, third floor, take your first right. All the way at the end of the hallway. This is the absolute room to prioritize here at the West Wing. As there is just so much high tier loot in here. Let me turn on my flashlight so we can see it. Uh, up top here, Lead X Spawn, Fire Steel, Tetris, several great spawns. Uh, in the carpet here, uh, another chance for some really high tier items. For both the carpet and up here, make sure to walk pretty close to it as sometimes the items do clip into the ground or into the containers. Swinging around the side here. Boom. Uh, this room is chock full of high tier loot spawns. We'll start at the outside. Cat statue there. Seen Bitcoin, lions, top tier loot spawns. Same thing with the chair, ravens, vases, uh, teapots, you name it. Here, here, here. And here, high tier medical loot spawns, lead X's, defibs, O scopes. Great place to find them if you need it for uh, one of your quests, found in raid. But high tier medical loot all throughout here, in addition to, of course, some medium tier stims on the bed. This room is amazing. Number one priority. Get here. Now, from here, depending on if I'm doing a quick loot and scoot. If I feel like there's some danger, I will drop down the hole and go to 205. Otherwise, we're going for all clear. 
Our full clear starts in 311. We've got a bag here, and there's a rare loot spawn here. Lions, uh, electronics, you name it, you can have it here. Really good sneaky loot room to get to. Before dropping down to second floor, which is, as we know, one of the best places. And from here, the a lot of these rooms are pretty similar in terms of how good the loot is. So I will just go closest room first and start making our way up. This is 216 first. 216 has uh, really good medium tier loot, I would say. Worth getting. Uh, electronic spawn on the box. Uh, good ammo spawn on the box. Uh, drinks, sugar, whiskey on the table. Of course, in addition to the numerous boxes. Stims, as well as stims and a potential Ledox spawn there. So absolutely check out this room. Super, super good items. From here, we'll go to 218. The commonly known as red key card room. And uh, in here, of course, red key card, ammo on the table, some food. Uh, not too much really else great in this room. It's kind of a red key card or bust, except uh, there's, I would say, medium tier uh, medical loot here, which is AFAX, CMS kits, as well as stims. But not really worth it to go further in that room. And it's decent with, of course, the chance to get a red key card. 219, not worth it. Next, I'll go to 220, another really great room. Now, where to loot in here? It's been nerfed a bit, but uh, high medium uh, medical loot here, gold stars, serve kits, stims, uh, in addition to, of course, all the boxes in here. Uh, several gold spawns on this box here. It used to be better, still worth looking at. But uh, still a really good room uh, in order to get some just kind of that medium tier medical loot. Now from here, we're, we're running back towards the entrance and hitting a couple of rooms that we skip past to get to 301. And these are the blue key card rooms. First one is 104. I'll show you this room. It is key card on the table or bust. Some medical loot, but... Look for that blue key card and then get out of there. Going down the hall, we've got 112. Same story as 104, pretty much. Um, look for the key card on the night table. Get close to it. It can glitch in. Uh, outside of that, a couple bags, some food. But it's pretty much key card or bust. And, of course, quest item. Now, from here, there's one other really good... Uh, place to go to. As you've seen, we've kind of gone uh, a little bit of a zigzag up, back, over, but here is the last uh, really great room to hit. 205, also unlocked by 203. In here again, uh, I've said it a couple times, this high medium uh, medical loot on the table, on the floor, table, table. And what I include in that, ibuprofen, stim, CMS kits, salewas, as well as the chance for a Ledex to spawn on this chair. I've gotten it and it was beautiful. We come around to 203, Ledex potential spawn on that night table there, as well as a couple of extra bags. And again, that high medium medical loot, stims, you name it, right on the table there. So that's the route I will take on West Wing, starting with 301, zigging back through the 200s, and then swinging back th around through the 100s up to 205. Now, from here, we have a choice to make. We can go over to East Wing and the Great Loot over there. Or, you know, if you hear shooting or, you know, stuff over there, this is the easy spot to drop down to admin and continue. Or maybe you've got enough good loot and it's time to get out. So here we are in the admin building. Now, I typically won't go here unless, you know, I hear a lot of fighting in the other wings. But if you are here, a couple of spots to check out. High tier medical loot spawn on that tray table there. Um, very rare, but it does happen. Down here below on this tray table, several medical loot spawns. I've seen people get Ledexes there, so always worth checking out. And then going upstairs, uh, there are some other places to hit. This room here, of course, red key card spawn on the table. Several nice tech spawns there. I've seen Tetrises, I've seen GPUs, and of course some uh, what I call storeroom loot in here, potentially. The other place to hit, of course, side door here. Tech spawn, tech spawn, locked safe. 
Uh, if you're looking for computer blocks, hit this room here. Otherwise, we wrap around. And here is uh, another lock safe, as well as uh, these two cabinets here. That's really all I hit in admin. And uh, with any of the wings or admin, let me know what I missed. But this is where I will look if I go to admin building. Which, again, not every time. As promised, here is the key tiered list that I mentioned we'd show you. And I'm going to run through this super quick, so feel free to follow up with any questions. I'm going to make this as easy as possible, almost as easy as hitting the like button, if this has been helpful so far. S tier. Now, these are the two rooms in each of the wings you're going to want to run straight to. Uh, they both have incredibly high tier loot, as well as a consistency that makes these some of the best rooms in all of Tarkov. Uh, the A tier, these two rooms are, you know, your high priority secondary targets. And they have the high tier loot that S tier does, but they just don't have the same consistency that the better rooms have. Moving into B tier, uh, all of these rooms are missing one of two things. They're either not as consistent, i.e. East 310, or they don't really have that super high tier piece of loot uh, that sets the A and the S tier apart. Think 220 and 216. C tier is kind of your stocking stuffers tier. You know, these are good if your backpack's looking a little bit empty or light. Uh, to go into to get a couple of extra loot D tier. These are the blue key card or bus rooms and then 306 and 219 people have told me to run these keys I think they're garbage, but you know, we had to put them on here But that is the list super easy like I said and feel free to follow up with any questions